If you watched my last Depop style bundle unboxing video, you'll know that I wasn't super happy with it. Yeah, this is not going to fit me. They do not fit me. These are skinny jeans. There's also a bunch of hair on this one. So I got another one. I'm wearing all black today so that it should be easy to coordinate with like any tops or bottoms that I have in here. This was actually gifted to me by Broke Batty Resale on Depop. So thank you so, so much for that. She saw my last Depop video and so she had sent me this. She also made her own YouTube video about the Depop girl, which I'll put a screenshot of over here and you can check that out if you want to. The seller just asked for two things, my measurements and then a link to my Pinterest board. Now, since this was sent to me, I didn't pay for it, but on her page, it says that one outfit is $50, two outfits, 90, three outfits, 120. Shipping is 1575, international is $50, and the processing time is two to four weeks. Okay, so can't lie, it's definitely one of the pricier bundles that I've seen. However, last time I had opted for the cheapest bundle that I could find, and so the pieces that I got weren't really worth it. So hopefully by paying more, you can get something that you actually like and will wear. Snip, snip. Normally I would not buy from American sellers just because the USD to Canadian conversion rate is so high and also international shipping. So yeah, I would not recommend this for people who don't live in America, but if you are from the US, then, you know, reasonable. Wait, <laughs> the scissors broke. How did that happen? Um, guess we'll do it just one blade. DIY knife. I feel like this is something like five minute crafts would do. They'd be like, get a pair of scissors, break it apart in half. Now you got a DIY knife. She is open. Oh. There's a little note in here. I'm gonna read this out. Hi, Olivia. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. This custom vintage bundle contains high quality, sustainably sourced, pre-loved items curated especially for you based on your style and size and style preferences. Oh, and then the seller writes out the two outfits. So they actually, I guess, coordinate it to be one outfit like that. The last style bundle I had, it was just individual pieces. There wasn't any organization, but this one, it's like, it actually groups it together into two categories for you. For anyone interested, there is a listing at the top of my Depop page with more info. A bundle this size would cost $90 plus shipping. Let's start with outfit one. Green genuine leather oversized blazer. Oh my God, that sounds so cool. Cool. Wow. Whoa. Okay, I think I am liking this. I think what I'll do is I'll show each piece listed in like each outfit and then I will put on the outfit all together and come back and show you what it looks like. First piece. Oh my gosh. Okay, this looks really cool. I love a leather blazer. To be honest, I'm not so hot on the genuine leather thing because I'm not for wearing real fur or like real leather because it's just so cruel to animals to me. I guess I should have specified that. That's not the seller's fault. But yeah, I love leather blazers. I have a red one and I love it so much. And now I guess I'll have another green one. Dark chocolate brown velvet fairy dress. Ooh, I really like the style of this. I feel like I'm going to like the way a lot of the pieces look. So I feel like the real question is just whether they will fit me or not. I love this so much. I love grunge fairy core. And I feel like this is very that style. Look at that. Brown knitted beret made in Italy. Interesting, I don't wear hats that often. I've never had a beret before, so I actually don't know if I'll like it or if it'll even suit me. Next is a beaded evening bag purse. All right, all right. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, I'm on the fence. It's like not bad. I think I need to see it with the outfit to have a clear opinion on it. Okay, and last thing is shimmery green gemstone necklace. I like the sound of that. I've actually been looking for a green like gem necklace, so maybe my wish is gonna come true. 
I love vintage jewelry. The best jewelry is found in thrift stores, in my opinion. My bangs keep getting in my eyes. Now that I have shown you all of the individual items, I'm going to put them all on and come back with the whole outfit. Okay, so here I am with a full outfit one on. The beret, I'm gonna be honest, not my thing. I'm not sure if I don't know how to wear it or I don't know. I just don't really like the look of it that much on me, but everything else I like a lot. So this necklace, first of all, love, love, love. It's so cute and pretty. This leather blazer, I love, love, love. It is so nice. It's in such good condition and I just love this color of green. I really like green. I think it's also really good for colder weather, which I'm going to be stuck with for a while. Okay, wait, I'm gonna take this off because I think I like it better without it. Definitely my favorite part of this outfit though is the dress. Like my goodness, I love this dress so much. I'm just gonna take this off so you can see it properly. But look at that. I've been really into like maxi slash midi dresses, especially for like the colder weather. And this is just perfect. I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot. Let me change up the camera angle so you can see it better. See that? Want a close up? Here's the chest area. Like, I know this dress is not for everyone, but for me, I really like it. I think this is something that really suits what I enjoy in fashion at the moment. So ratings for all of these pieces. I'm gonna say the dress is 10 out of 10. It fits me really well. The waist here is just perfectly fitted. The length is awesome. The straps are adjustable. So even though I literally have no boobies, it still fits me. This jacket here, I'm gonna say like, 8 out of 10. I really love the color. The fit is nice as well. Super good condition. Like I don't see any flaws on it whatsoever. The only thing I don't like obviously is that it's genuine leather, but again, not the seller's fault. I should have said something about that. The bag, I'm going to give it like 6 or 5 out of 10. It's not bad. Um, but it's not like amazing. I think I can definitely work this into like other outfits. So yeah like a five or six out of 10. The hat, I'm like conflicted because I actually really like the pattern of the knit here. This is definitely something I'd wear if the hat was maybe a different shape. Maybe I'll give it a four out of 10 because again, I don't hate it, that's the thing. I feel like I could wear it sometimes and it feels thick, which I really like. Oh, and lastly, the necklace. I almost forgot I was wearing it. The necklace, I'm going to say eight out of 10. I think it's gonna go with a lot of things. I don't have a lot of, um, I guess, colored or more statement pieces in my jewelry so it's definitely good to add one to that. I'm feeling so happy because everything just fits so well and it also goes pretty well with the style I was looking for so I'm excited to see what we have in outfit two. <clears throat> outfit two pink plus green chiffon butterfly milk made top. I think the aesthetic of this second outfit is very different from this first one. Ah, here's the first top. Okay, she looks pretty. I do like this very much. I am a sucker for lace. Anytime I see lace on clothing, I'm like... <laughs> Then we have a cream colored open knit tie front cardigan. Oh yes. I've seen so many of these and I've never had one. It's those cardigans where you like do the tie thingy in the front. I cannot find the other. Okay, here, here. Army green cargo mini skirt. Oh, okay. And it comes with a pink grommet. I don't know how to pronounce that word belt to ensure perfect fit. Yay, okay. I know cargo is not for everyone and I didn't used to like it, but recently in the past few months, I have been liking cargo. She probably saw that in my Pinterest and was like, okay, this girl's getting some cargo. There we go, a cute little cargo mini skirt with a faded pink belt. We got some earrings, pink plus silver drop earrings, and also true vintage faux pearl pendant necklace. Here's the necklace, which I think looks really pretty. Ta-da! I just realized part of my bra was showing in the last clips. I need to adjust this a little bit more. Earrings. It's very cute packaging too. It's got strawberry tape. They look like this. Wait, let me... Woo, shiny. Time to change and I will see you soon. 
Okay, I think I actually like this outfit more than the last one, which is pretty surprising because I had already liked the first one a lot, but this one I like even more. First of all, everything fits really well. Even the skirt fits. It's a little bit on the loose side, but it's nothing major. Like it's something I can totally understand because of course sizing is very difficult to do for someone that you've never even met and you're just going based off of like measurements that you send in text. And of course the belt is there to make it fit really well. This cardigan is so so cute i love this knit type of pattern here it's got these like little sparkles in it and it's this like beautiful cream and gold color you know this is just a basic way to tie it but i feel like you can get really creative and tie it in like a bunch of different ways the necklace is super cute who doesn't love a good pearl necklace i really really like this one as well and then these earrings here i don't have as many colored or statement earrings so these are a good one I'll untie this cardigan to show you like better what the blouse inside looks like, but it is so, so cute. It's like semi sheer, but not really. There's a very cute little pink bow here, lace here, little puff sleeves. I guess you could wear it like off the shoulder as well. Or up here. And then lastly, of course, the skirt. It's very cute. I love mini skirts and you have like the belt here, of course. I love these belts from like a practical standpoint because there are so many holes that you can put it in and you don't have to like poke new holes for yourself if they don't have like enough. Nothing to say much about the skirt. You know, it's a good like basic mini skirt that can pair with a lot of different things. I really like the way the seller coordinated this outfit too because you have like the green in the shirt here matching with the green in the skirt and also the pink belt matching with the pink flowers and the pink necklace you've also got this like cream theme going on with the cardigan but also the pendant here matching it so good color coordination okay so rating these pieces individually I'm going to give this cardigan a 9 out of 10 I'm going to give this top here um, 8.5 out of 10 I'll give this skirt a 8 out of 10 the belt six out of ten like i don't usually wear these types of belts but i feel like it looks good with this outfit necklace eight out of ten and earrings seven out of ten the earrings are really cute but i feel like i'm only docking marks because they look a little bit like children's earrings i don't know if that makes sense but like if you've ever had play jewelry like toy jewelry i don't know why it like kind of reminds me of it regardless i still like it now to finish off the video, would I recommend this style bundle? I'd say that if you live in the US, then yes, 100%, because as the note said over here, it is um, $90 plus shipping to get everything that I got. And I think I got some like pretty good items. Everything I got would definitely cost more than $90 in total if you bought the same amount at a retail store like Urban Outfitters or Zara, H&M, something like that. I feel like the seller really captured the types of pieces that I like properly. The sizing was all on point, condition was all really good as well, and it arrived in like five days or something, so also fast shipping as well. Now, if you live elsewhere like Canada or somewhere else that's not the US, maybe I wouldn't recommend this because 90 USD translates to like a hundred something Canadian dollars, and then international shipping is $50, which is a lot <laughs> so yeah in the u.s recommend outside of the u.s not so much comment down below which outfit you liked more outfit number one or outfit number two i know this is not my usual content but for some reason my depop unboxing video got like a lot of views last month or something all of a sudden so i was like hey i'll do another one if people are interested you can like and subscribe if you want you can comment below if you want another one of these or if you have any opinions about the pieces or how you think i should style them that would also be interesting to read thank you so much for watching let's keep talking and i hope to hear from you soon bye